for the people watching and or listening, can you tell them why are you making this video and what do you want to say? What do you want to make sure to do in this video? Actually, at first, I didn't think that I would agree to have video online because this is not my personality. I'm a very shy person. But after taking classes with you, my personality has been changing. And now I'm more confident and I try to speak fluently as much as I can, regardless of my accent. It uh, I used to be bothered from my accent, but after speaking with you for several classes, you convinced me that uh, the accent doesn't matter. All that matters is that uh, I can express myself and communicate with people. And also this helped me in passing my TOEFL exam. And now I'm making this video because I want to motivate everyone to watch me and see I'm not perfect in English, but I passed and I got 26. And this is good for everyone. And I used to watch a lot of your students that uh, who passed the exam and they motivated me. That's why I'm doing this video with you. Graham, congratulations. Thank you, Erin. <laughs> it's all because of you. Thank you so much. You did it. You did it. 26 on speaking, and I was glad to help you. Hey, everyone. My name is Riham. I'm a pharmacist from Egypt, and I arrived here in the U.S., and I needed to make evaluation for my license. And to get my license here as a pharmacist, I need to pass several exams. So I, I passed the FBGE first three years ago, and... I was stuck in the TOEFL exam. I got 23 at first, then I was stuck in 24 and 25 for a period of time till Erin helped me to pass and get 26. And actually I could have passed sooner, but I kept resisting Erin <laughs> advice because uh, he asked me to do a lot of things that were challenging for me. Um, I used to avoid communicating with people in English. I always use online um, websites and and text message to book an appointment or to change any appointment or to ask any question for the customer service. I try to avoid every communication with anyone because I wasn't confident enough in my English and in my accent. But Erin just pushed me outside my comfort zone and kept advising me to try to communicate with people. He gave me a lot of options, but I kept resisting, unfortunately. But eventually, I listened to him and I started to make phone calls for customer service and to own, to book like a doctor appointment or um, a restaurant. And also, when I when I go to any park, I just talk with strangers to open any conversation. Some people are nice, some people are not. But Aaron advised me that it doesn't matter. He always, he was always telling me that people will communicate with him also. Some people will be good, some people will be bad. It's not yes. about my act or my race or anything. Right. People are nice or not nice. It's normal. Right. Right. So he convinced me to be more confident. And... Uh, and also, this video is a challenge for me. I have never think about this, <laughs> doing a video. But thanks to Aaron, I am more confident now. And I want to advise all people and motivate all the TOEFL takers <laughs> to keep taking the exam and not yes. lose hope. And of course, to ask Aaron for help. <laughs> he will help you 100%. And as long as you listen to his advice, you will pass. Your personality changed. And it sounds yeah. like that was, you're saying this in a really good way. You're saying this, it's kind of sounds like you became more courageous. You became more confident. And this played a big role, maybe even the biggest, in you getting 26 on the speaking section. What do you think? Yeah, I remember that you were just uh, pushing me to go out from my comfort zone. You advised me so many times to try to speak with stranger people in order to strengthen my confidence and help me to speak fluently and learn from other people, not only for the TOEFL exam, but you once told me that I I have to be fluent in English because I want, my goal is to be a pharmacist and I will deal with a lot of uh, 
patients and technicians and other pharmacists. So I should be able to communicate fluently and smoothly. And you helped me in this. And during this journey, I passed the TOEFL easily yeah. because of your advice and uh, your strategy, which is avoiding all the templates and avoiding be summarizing the uh, the listening sec the listening port and the reading port. Um, you always advised me to explain the, my answer and try to use my fluency in my answers. And this helped me and um, let me pass. In your post, you say that you could have passed faster even when you had started to work with me. And then when you returned back to our group class to talk to me and our other friends in the group class, you repeated the same idea by, by saying, Hey guys, don't resist. Don't do if yeah. I would have, so it sounds like, it sounds like even I could have helped you to pass faster, or even you could have helped yourself to pass faster by applying the things. Why were you resisting? Why do you think some of our other friends in the group class might be initially resisting? Actually, my point of view, I feel like females, especially, are not um, like courageous enough, like males. We don't open conversation with strangers. We are very shy. We are always try to be in the safe side and summarize the answer and try not to be yes. out of comfort zone. And I was resisting your advice. You were pushing me to get out of my comfort zone, try to use my fluency, um, to not to think about my accent or the grammar mistake. Just to express myself, I just focused on what did, uh, what you were saying and what uh, you advised me. And you even noticed that I was changing my answers. In our oh, yes. Book. we I noticed it. We noticed it. Okay, yeah. so this is really interesting because it sounds like while you were taking classes with me, both group one-on-one cl -on -one classes and group classes, it sounds like you were resisting the strategy and the advice that I would give you that you're saying led to you passing, but you were still taking classes with me. So it's almost like there was a part of you that recognized there's something good here, but you still resisted it, as you said. I know that the people watching and listening are going to be able to relate to this. I remember that you once told me that it's all in my mindset. I have to change my mindset. So I thought about this and I watched videos for other people who passed. I remember one pharmacist passed after two classes with you because he just applied what you said. And he was more confident, even if he, he had accent like me, but he passed because he applied what you said. But for me, it took time because it's different personality. So I kept taking classes with you because I knew that the problem is within me and you were helping me to get out of this problem. And you were so patient with me and you kept pushing me. I lost hope many times, but you didn't. You always had faith in me and always motivated me. I want to thank you for this. I oh, couldn't you. do this without you. You're welcome. And I thank you. I'm giving you a big thank you now. And I know... Many, many people watching and listening are also giving you a big thank you. Yeah, thank you. Ed. It was natural for me to encourage you and to be able to tell that you're going to pass if you apply the advice and strategy that I was giving you. Because early on in our meetings, I saw that you used some of the advice that I gave you specifically no, hey, Reham, when you go to the grocery store, when you go to Starbucks, what do you think about making a point for your 26 on speaking faster? What do you think about making the point to say one extra word, one extra sentence, one extra minute to the person that you normally would? And you, in comparison to when you norm, you usually in the past wouldn't do that. Do you think that you could do this with a speaking 26 with the goal in your mind? Do you think that this would help your confidence, your fluency? And I heard you from the beginning telling me examples of when you were doing that. Instead of making online appointments on your phone, the internet on your phone or on your computer, calling the phone number with Speaking 26 in mind, 
instead of yeah. the convenience of avoiding talking to somebody like many of us make appoint online appointments no i i do want to talk to somebody doing these kinds of things it's like yes she's like we're going to practice the speaking questions in our meetings but there's a lot of time outside of our meetings she sees the value in this she sees this can get her her goal of 26 on speaking faster you were doing it you did it at first it was very hard for me and then i got better and better and then it was it became natural even though i make a lot i made a lot of mistakes and i have acts and some people uh, understood me some didn't it doesn't matter i kept going and this helped me so much to be more confident in the exam and I advise all people to do this it's not like a secret strategy that you will give them and they will get the 26th day after. It's like a system and mindset. You changed everything. You changed my personality, my routine, my um, uh, practice style. Even if you kept just uh, texting, oh, just texting me and emailing me all the time to check about my practice. And even when I took uh, short breaks, you kept advising me, you kept... Um, monitoring me and also i want to thank you for your community you have a beautiful community you you contacted me with a lot of, uh, of your students who passed and other students who are still taking the exam we helped each other so community. much community thank you for this yeah yes that's great thank you thank you for saying that community is what we're building and you reham are a big part of this community you are a pillar yeah. of this community and so are the other people that you talk to. The well, community is what helps you to pass your test as soon as possible. So yeah. that's, that's great. We practice together. We advised each other. And also the people who passed, they gave me advice. We all help each other. Thank you so much. Yeah, we you're welcome. Can... How can people maintain confidence, hope, determination when they're taking it just about to pass, but not passing multiple times. Reham, how can people maintain that energy determination needed? First, it's normal to feel down and to lose hope. It's normal. Every one of us, your community always motivated me. Some, sometimes I'm down, they motivated me. Sometimes other people are down, I will motivate them. We supported each other. And you always support us. You kept checking on me. Always you say, you said to me, be consistent in my practice. Never stop practicing. Never stop trying to open conversation with people. And you also um, advised me that I need to improve my English for my future as a pharmacist, not only for the TOEFL exam. And this is my goal now. I was trying to improve my English not only for the 26. I need to be a better person, a better pharmacist. So this situation was like the change in my mindset that now I'm answering the question like I'm convincing someone with my point of view because I listen or I read the question, I have a certain point of view in my mind and I'm good enough to express this point of view. It's not necessary that I know everything about this topic or like the, the professor in the lecture I'm not a professor, but I have to explain myself and my understanding in a clear way. Like when I'm speaking with a customer or with the patient. So this helped me to change my mindset. I'm not focusing on how I got the secret magical strategy to, to pass question number one in the TOEFL exam. No, I have to be to express myself in a simple way and in more convinced way. And I remember also you talked about my tone of voice. I didn't find any other tutor talking about this. You you advised me not to be like happy all the time or like robot voice. I have to be natural. And this was different from my native language. We don't think like this. <laughs> so I tried to watch a lot of videos, watch a lot of um, uh, American shows, TV shows, and talking with native speakers. This helped me because I focused on something that I have never thought about it before. This is thanks to you for everyone. Don't lose hope. Uh, I was like you like <laughs> a couple of weeks ago. So keep going, be consistent and ask Aaron for help. He will help you definitely. And you will pass good luck for everyone. <laughs> and thank you, Aaron, for your help.
Nice. Good luck, everybody. You're welcome, Graham. Thank you. Thank you. Start using your natural speaking fluency. Once you uh, are in the level that you need to become advanced mm. in order to get the 26, mm. you need to get rid of the templates. Templates. Templates will hinder your, your ability to deliver the, the question because it's, it shows that you are reading something or you are not speaking, you are reading. I was using completely different template or different way. I started to apply your way. And once I started to practice your way, oh, it's easy for me. That was really good for me. It really helped me because with this in my mind, I could speak faster. And I was, because I was confident. It's challenging, but you know, the, after you pass it, the feeling of victory, it's worth it. Aaron speaking gave me some advice to stop using speaking templates, which made me sound like a robot. Hence, using speaking templates restrained my natural ability to speak. As English is my first language, I thought the speaking templates would be enough to get me the 26 that I needed. Unfortunately, it wasn't, and I only scored a 23. Your lack of getting 26 is not due to your speaking ability. It has been due to your less than optimal strategy. When I was young, I first started to ride a bike with training wheels. And at first it was helpful, but then when I needed to go faster, when I needed to go over jumps, when I needed to make sharp turns, I instinctively knew it was time to get rid of the training wheels. The templates, the templates were like, oh my God, why did they create those templates? Aaron, you, you are a big helpful for, for students like us. We need, we need somebody to like, stir revolution in our heart inside mm. give lives to our conversation and this is will never happen through other sites like they have exact traditional pattern pattern the template first second for example don't say for example the second time for instance really and like robot i put myself without life i don't have the a freedom to speak you don't have to worry that much about how can I mention two reasons with two details or two examples? It's too much for me. You help students to increase their fluency. So instead of feeling like you have to give exactly two reasons and exactly two examples, instead of following that speaking template or any other speaking template, trust your fluency. For the students who are taking with you, trust this guy, he's amazing, he will shift or improve your level as soon as possible. Like just jump, jump my score from 23 to 26, like, like this, how many hours I took with you? Five, look at this, five hours in two weeks. I passed my test. I hope you, uh, you keep inspiring and helping more pharmacists and more other students to achieve their goal and become a professional here in the United States. I advise every pharmacist who needs to get 26. For people who's really, they have concern and they need to do it very fast, go, go to the, like, the, the original, the source, the source of help.